What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning back in. I'm uploading a lot more frequently, maybe you can tell. So hopefully you're enjoying these videos. I got a lot of parts on order coming in this week. We're going to be putting in uh, some cool parts tomorrow and also some very, very cool parts uh, on uh, Tuesday. But today we have a bunch of little stuff that needs to happen before we can do all that stuff. So today I want to try to make some of the lines that go from the radiator to the water pump. So the water pump, if you remember, is mounted underneath the back seat. And uh, I have a bunch of Dash 20 line that I'm going to use that's from the E36. The fittings are already on the end of it, so I just screw it into the radiator, cut it where it needs to be cut, and uh, you know put a fitting on that end and I'm good to go. So I'm gonna make those two coolant lines today that go from the radiator to the water pump, possibly from the water pump to, there's a like a plate that will go, go on the passenger side floorboard where the rear seat is, so I'll show you that as well. And uh, we're gonna mount the it's like a catch can for my catch can, so FD rules are a little kind of iffy about the cooling system in this area, whereas I have a swirl pot that goes into a catch can, but then I have a relief from that catch can, which I think has to go into another catch can, which also has like a valved relief. So I happen to have one from the U36, I'm going to throw it on there, and uh, let's get to work. You can see here I got like 40 feet of Dash 20 line from my E36 wrapped around in my intercooler, my old clutch, and RTS's differential there. And then I got this thing here. This is also an E36, but it didn't have the swirl pot or anything connected to it. It was just straight off the radiator. So I'm gonna clean that up. I'm gonna cut these down. I'm gonna put them in this, which is kind of like opening it up so I can do all this. That's not the engine. It's just the intake manifold on a box. And uh, let me show you that thing. I got this from Motion Motorsports. It's like a, I guess it's a, really a firewall bulkhead, but I'm gonna use it like over here-ish. So the coolant lines will come out here, they'll go across the floor here, go into this guy, and then you can see I got my accu sump in there, but they'll come through here and go up into there, where, which is going to be the actual firewall um, bulkheads. So first things first, I gotta figure out where this is gonna go. I gotta give myself enough room to be able to mount the Dash 20 fittings to the back of this and to the water pump and to have at least a little bit of line between them so that I can actually, you know, connect them. But uh, I'm gonna figure that out first. Looking at this thing, pretty nice piece. But it looks like I can actually just drill two big holes with the hole saw and then drill the four bolt holes around them to uh, mount this. I don't have to cut like a big square out with the angle grinder. So I'm gonna check out what's behind the rear seat area and see if I have to cut anything out back there. I think I do, I think there's like a, a brace there. But, then we'll get this mounted up where it goes. right there kind of gonna be difficult to drill through that brace so I guess I have to cut it off and that's gonna be really painful with the angle grinder <laughs> That looks pretty nice. Let's drill some holes, put some screws in it, hold it there. Really, it's so tight, I probably don't even need to put screws in it. So I will bolt that in later and clean it up. But uh, for now, it's just kind of mock-up because actually the car is going to get disassembled again to get painted again um, after everything's kind of put in. So I'm going to kind of skip the step of drilling the holes and putting the screws in now because I need to do a lot of cleanup on the other underside. And today I want to get these hoses cut and mounted, so I'm going to do that instead. So. Since I have you know these really long lines of fittings on either end, actually I have a straight fitting and a 90 fitting on one end of two of those hoses. So I'm actually going to fish them up from the bottom and connect them here and then mark them at the bottom, unconnect them here, and uh, then cut them so that I don't cut them too short or measure wrong or do something dumb.
Almost. Almost there, just a couple more inches. All right, so I pulled this back out and you can see actually we don't need that long of a span to go from the radiator to the water pump. So I put some white electrical tape around here. And if you don't know how to cut an inline, you put electrical tape around it to keep it from fraying on either side. Then you cut through the electrical tape and put the fitting on after you take the electrical tape off again. So uh, I'm gonna cut through this, put a 90 degree fitting on the end and try to put it back in the car. So we got one coolant hose made. I think there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight coolant hoses total with a total of 16 fittings. And just for reference, these 20 AN 90 degree fittings are $35 a piece. That is the cheapest I could find them. All right, so we got the upper hose mocked up. The lower hose is actually all screwed in. They're both coming through there. Then they come through here, down through there, and finally, you can see this one's still very long. But it comes down to the water pump, which is under there. I don't know if you can see it. All right, all right. So it doesn't really feel like I got a lot done. And that's because I did a small amount of things that took a long amount of time. So I'm going to go ahead and show you everything I did. I ended up plumbing the radiator like I said I would and we watched but I also ran some other AN lines and tubes for some other things in that area and I didn't even end up plumbing the catch tank the extra catch tank but that's pretty easy I might do that later so let me show you what's up here you can see upper radiator hose and if you look over here well you can't really see there you can see the upper radiator hose there if we come over to the other side here You can see the lower radiator hose and the upper radiator hose. So you can see them both there. They come through down here. And they go into the hole there. I also put the feed line for the power steering pump from the reservoir here. And the drain line. You can't really see it. I'll get a light for you guys. But the drain line from the catch can, catch can down there. So I'm going to try to get underneath here with a light and uh, show you guys what all is going on down there because it looks like a mess down there. Whew. Okay, you guys are going to be all fully closed here. So we got the back of our bulkhead and you can see I did not do a good job cutting the back of that out. I'm going to clean it up later. I just didn't want to do it today. But that's the back of the bulkhead there. That right there is actually the power steering pump. It's from a Mini Cooper. It's an electric pump. And over here we've got the water pump. So a Mazir remote mount water pump. And let's see if I can get in a position where you can see all these lines. Well, not really guys. So you can see I got one line coming down and going to the, the water pump. I got another line that's coming out of the water pump there. But it actually just goes to nowhere. It will, once I get the fittings, that, that line will go all the way to here with a straight fitting like that. This other line coming down will go to here with a 90 fitting, kind of like that. And then we just got this hose here that goes to nowhere. That's a drain for the catch can that's up there. And somewhere right, if you guys can see it, hold on. Right there is the feed for the power steering pump. So you can see that right there. So that's all I got done today. Doesn't really feel like much. Anyway though, tomorrow we have more to do. Um, hopefully my fire suppression system comes in the morning and we can actually spend the day doing that. The transmission is coming on Tuesday. So I hope it comes early. If it comes early enough, hopefully we can get it on the engine, get the engine mocked up in the car. There's still like lots of little things to do on the car. And if you guys want to keep seeing these little intricate things, like just these hoses and things, I'll drag a whole video out of just doing each one. But if you don't care to see it, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I won't make videos about small things like this, like daily vlogs and things like that, where just not much gets done. 
before we end though I want to talk about what's going to happen in here so we got the other side of the bulkhead here right and you know I can't just run the line straight all the way here that's really how I'd like to but I really can't because the seat mounts so low that I can't fit these hoses underneath these seat mounts so they either have to go up along the side of the transmission tunnel or up along the side of the door sill here I think we're going to go with the door sill which means there'll be two 90s coming out of here coming up along the door sill along here through this guy right here up into where the AccuSump is and up through the firewall up there so that's it for me today thanks for watching hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed like this video if you like things like this leave a comment if you got something to say to me I'll, I always read them I always see them and thanks for watching see you tomorrow